Hey, Neil, what's going on? What's your name again, brother? Before you leave, I know you got to go, right? Huh? Tony? Tony and Neil. Let me ask you a question. The people in here, uh, the St. Uh, Crucians, right? Brothers and sisters in this island, St. Croix. Why is it Why is it such a difference when it comes to uh, the economy, when it comes to the people that visit the island compared to the people that live here on the island? Why is there such a major gap when it comes to the, the a state of the people? Why is it? You don't know? You're not sure, right? Okay, okay. But I, I so-called black people, Crucians, right? Uh, Sant uh, what do you call it? Uh, Antiguans. They are, uh, all of us are spiritual people. We are, a lot of us believe in God, right? So in that belief, why would God allow it? We see it, the economy, the, 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 the government, they keep us in a low and impoverished state. But why does God allow it? Why doesn't God do something to change it? If we believe in God. Bring it out. I got you right now. Watch this. Nehemiah chapter 10, we read, read, read it. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land... Sis, what's your name? Asher. Asher, it was Asher, Neil, and Tony. Watch this. Listen up. I want to show you what God says. This is the reason why the estate for the uh, Christians... Here in, in St. Croix is not going to change until we begin to listen to God. I understand we all got something to do. We got lives to live, right? We got places to go. But the reason that you have to do those things in the estate that you have to do it. You are a servant here in St. Croix. And the reason why you are still a servant is because we have not yet called out time for God. That's why. Watch this. And if the people of the land bring where or early victuals on the Sabbath day. Wear in victuals is merchandise. Wear would be like clothing, you understand? Items that we buy for our houses, furniture. Uh, victuals is food. God says if the nations, the other nations, bring clothing or food, merchandise. Read. On the Sabbath day. On which day? On the Sabbath day. Tony, which day was the Sabbath day again? That's today. Today, what, what God said we're supposed to do? To sell that we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath. What are we supposed to do on the Sabbath? Are we supposed to be at the, the what is it called? Fair. The fair meat, the fair uh, store? We're supposed to do that day prior, before the Sabbath. That's right. You understand? But we have forgotten that as a people, just as we have forgotten that we are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. They have taken that from you through the process of slavery. When they enslaved your ancestors and then they docked here in St. Croix, they took away the fact that they are the Israelites and what they have to do in order to change the condition so God can fight for you. God is not fighting for you now. I understand we may say we are Christians. God is not fighting for you. I'm going to tell you. Go to Hold that. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to read verse 45. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why God is not fighting for Christians here in St. Croix. Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to hear it out God's mouth. No. no, he's not fighting for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in the island, in the, in the, uh, the mainland. I'm going to tell you. That's a good question. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, read verse 45. Deuteronomy 28, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. God said he was going to put curses on his people. On Crucians, on St. Lucians, here in St. Croix, on African Americans in the Americas. Why? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we don't listen to God. We don't. So we. So as a, I'm talking about as a whole. I'm talking about as a whole. As a whole, Crucians here in the island. Do we respect God's Sabbath day? Seven day Adventist is a religion created by the oppressor. You have to repent as an Israelite. Seven day Adventist is a religion. We're talking about a nationality. Watch this, read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and the statutes which he commanded thee. Seven day Adventist, the religion, it was created by your oppressor. I think it was what, John Smith? John Smith. John, yeah. His, the oppressor created that religion, Seventh-day Adventist, 
because it's another branch of Christianity. You understand? Just because they say that they honor the Sabbath day, they actually don't because the Sabbath has statutes that they don't observe. William Miller. You understand? William Miller. William, William Miller, thank you. That's who that was the slave master that created uh seven day events. Watch this. Read it. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed forever. God says those curses was gonna be upon us forever. Why? Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of our day. God says the Christians here in St. Croix, we do not serve God. The so-called African-Americans back in the islands, we don't serve God. The Jamaicans, the Hispanics, the Dominicans, the public, the, what do you call it? Uh, no, Dominica? That's how you say them? The Dominicans, they don't serve God. That's what God said out of his Bible. Watch this, read on. Read it again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of our days. So don't kill the messenger. I'm telling you, we're reading the words of God. God says we don't serve him. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 